Hello Taurus, welcome to another WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. All right. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information about your my personal readings, the tarot text that I'm using, as well as links to all my extended reads are in the description box below. Also, I'm giving away a couple of Oracle decks if you're interested to participate in the giveaway. There is a link down below on how to participate. All right, so if you're keen, um, well, anything, everything about this channel is all in the description box below. So go ahead and check them out if you're inclined. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and do your reading. This is for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus in love? What do we have for Taurus in love? This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter in love. Taurus, King of Wands. Nothing less than that, huh? Six of Coins, Page of Swords, Three of Cups, uh, the Star. Let me see. Wow. So why is this person coming up into your reading? Why are you not together just yet? I feel that you are both um, on the go here. Both willing to get together, huh? Let's get some more. We have the Lovers. The Palace of Swords. The Nine of Swords. The Queen of Wands. And the Two of Wands. Queen of Wands, King of Wands here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Palace of Wands. All right, Taurus, this is pretty amazing. Different uh, energy, at least, for you. I've never had a Taurus reading with such... Okay, let me see. Okay, so I feel that um, this is a person that... Uh, there must have been some form of waiting period in the past. There must have been some form of, yeah. You're connecting with someone, I feel, where um, you probably met this person in some outings, you know, night outs, after work drinks. You went out with friends and you met each other. But there was an element of holding back, not um, being able to express so much. And to your, you know, how you feel about one another. This could even be a work colleague or somebody in the same industry as you're working with or on, yeah? But um, getting to know one another, life itself or the work life itself led to some busy start. And, you know, I think things did not really progress. You just got to know, getting to know one another and some things just die down. And you both, um, I feel, Taurus, that for you, you kept on, there was an element there of, okay, maybe it was just a get-to-know or an acquaintance, and that's it. And even though you started meeting other people, um, this person has been in your head. And at some point, perhaps you even met up again, I feel. And nothing, um, nothing really committed in the sense, but more so... Since you feel like, you know, it was safe to, you know, probably you met up again and um, got together once again. Not in a very committed sense, but more so just enjoying the moment, taking the risk of meeting up, hanging out, and uh, that's it. And more so, you felt like at some point, maybe the other person was just uh, meeting up for fun, or for spending the time, the night together. But during that time, I feel that you felt, with this person you're connecting with, you felt like you were taken advantage of because after meeting up, it seems that there was no follow-up after such a meet-up, yeah? And that led you into thinking 
that led you into kind of going within and thinking wasn't really the time spent uh, good enough to really talk things out to see where it would possibly go okay and then I feel that um, yeah that got you thinking and you didn't really put things forward right here you kept on thinking about this person and it feels like for you possibly they even reach out to you again and you hesitated you did not continue maybe you have met this person once or twice in the past and I feel that um, your work environment or your industry networking activities that you probably do within your industry the work that you do led you to keep on meeting this person maybe once or twice but I feel that this is more like somebody that you meet in in the same industry that you do and you've had some a couple of get-together acquaintance meets and all that could even be speed dating or, or things like that you know or meetups and you kind of click on the first and second time that you met but there was no follow-up moving forward and that kept you thinking and here coming into this reading I'm getting that both of you are into one another you have this passion you have attraction to one another and somehow for you Taurus I feel that you are checking out on this person checking out their social media trying to get more information about them because you wanted to give more you wanted to give more of your time you want to spend time with this person in as much as you know what? You might be surprised this person is also wanting to spend more time with you. There is a very strong attraction here. And I feel that even in your first or second meet, you kind of really connected. There was so much passion, so much... Um, you click. There was so much chemistry in there. Yeah. But somehow, logically... If you start to think logically, it gives you stress. Is it really worth or is it really good to move forward with this connection? This could also be your boss or something like that. I feel that there is an element here of something that is work-related or work-environment related. Yeah. That both of you had this magnetizing moment. You had a chemistry when you meet one another in, in a gathering or so. At least that's the background story I get here. This could be somebody you met when you were starting up a business, probably some you know associates that um, you you kept in touch with, and then things just clicked between the two of you. But you know, since it's it's more like a get together, one time event, two time event, second time, third time, you meet, you click, you hang out, you probably spend some special moments together. But it feels like for you, it's just that. Just that. There's no follow-up. There's no willingness to move things forward or so, so it seems, yeah? So overall, you might be thinking, well, this person may not be the committal type of person or you might even think that if you push through, it might have um, adverse impact into your business or your work. So that put you in a very difficult position because you are attracted to this person there is chemistry there you want to be with this person yeah you want to go for it but is it a good idea now that left you in a crossroads you need to make a choice here Taurus whether you want to push things forward following your inner guidance following the passion the, the heat that you are feeling and the attraction definitely what are the steps that you can do to move things forward here? Because you truly want to to give more. That's the essence I hear. Although I feel that there is still a lot of information that you need to know about this person. Um, you might not even know if they are committed or, or if they are in a relationship or even if they are married. You might even see in their social media that Perhaps they have kids, but you don't know whether they are in a relationship with someone. They might be separated or divorced. So these are the things that are still pending. But the, the reality I see here is that there was a connection when you both got together. 
undeniably so. It was a very steamy, hot encounter, perhaps, that kept you thinking, that kept you wondering, is there still a possibility to move things forward? Or is it just a one-time, two-time, three-time thing? Mm -hmm. And it's very hard. I do understand that. It's very hard to let things go. If things are going well, sometimes you just, you just have to know if there's more to it. On the other hand, the person that you're thinking about definitely is very attracted to you, very magnetized by your beauty. They also feel the same deep connection and believe it or not this person sees you as um, like a star you know if a person sees you as a star it's it's like you're a celebrity in their eyes it is also in terms of the in the spiritual sense it makes them feel like you could be the one you could be that one person the universe has put on their path for them to to um, get together in this lifetime that sort of feeling this person has. Mm -hmm. So they want to get together with you. They want to spend more time, more night outs, more magnetizing moments, more interesting hot steamy nights perhaps. I'm not uh, sexualizing this reading, but more so I feel that there is really that much passion. Uh -huh. But there is lack of information yet on how to move things forward, but pretty much both of you are wanting this. Both of you are wanting more. Yeah. You're trying to actually understand where is this person from, what is he doing, what are, is she doing, um, how did they get into that circle of friends where you met them, how did they get into that circle of network or, or into that circle. There's a lot of questioning here on your side. But other than that, they have this free rental space in your mind. They keep on running in your head. Yeah? And one thing is you, you're this person, honestly, they, they really want to be with you more. They want to spend they want to be able to spend more time with you. They're longing for it. They're actually hoping to find more time to be able to see you alone and be able to you know um, admire your beauty you're such a beautiful creature in this person's eyes mm -hmm. all right so that's what I've got for you here and I feel that there could be a lot of other opportunities that um, you would be still seeing one another um, there's still a lot there, and therefore this person has that uh, um, inner knowing that this is going to go somewhere in the long term, sometime in the future. Yeah, But we'll see if this story resonates with you, and if you want to follow me in the extended, I'll be pulling in more cards to give us more insights on how this person feels about you, what, how this, this connection would go, what are the advices that we can derive from, as well as the direct messages that this person wants to tell you. If you want to follow me in the extended, the link is in the description box below. Otherwise, leave me comments and let me know how this resonates with you. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell. And um, if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.